Notable NXIVM participants Edgar Boone, the scion of a wealthy family, introduced NXIVM to numerous affluent Mexicans, becoming head of N.X.I.V.M.Mexico and rising to third in the NXIVM organization. Claire Bronfman, daughter of billionaire Seagram's chairman Edgar Bronfman Sr., was introduced to NXIVM by her sister Sarah. Claire Bronfman was arrested by federal agents on July 24, 2018, in New York City and charged with money laundering and identity theft in connection with NXIVM activities. She pleaded not guilty in the United States District Court for the Eastern District of New York in Brooklyn. She was released on $100 million bond and placed on house arrest with electronic monitoring. On April 19, 2019, Claire Bronfman pleaded guilty to conspiracy to conceal and harbor illegal aliens for financial gain and fraud fraudulent use of identification she faced 21 to 27 months in prison and has agreed to forfeit six million dollars on september 30 2020 she was sentenced to six years nine months in prison by a federal judge sarah bronfman daughter of edgar bronfman senior was introduced to nxivm by a family friend in 2002 pamka fritz daughter of washington dc socialites Buffy and William Kafritz. Kafritz was a founder of Chnus, a Rainier-affiliated women's group. Kafritz was reported to be Rainier's most important long-term girlfriend. On November 7, 2016, Pam Kafritz died. After her death, her credit card was charged for over $300,000. Sunil Chakravorty, a software developer, remained among Rainier's post-conviction followers, dancing outside the jail where Rainier is confined. Nikki Klein is a Canadian actress known for her role on the series Battlestar Galactica. According to reports, in 2006, Klein became involved with NXIVM. She married fellow senior member Alison Mack in 2017. The marriage was alleged to have been a sham to evade United States immigration laws. After Rainier's conviction, Klein and others began dancing nightly outside the detention center containing Rainier. Alison Mack is an American actress known for her role on the series Smallville. Mack was reportedly recruited to the Vancouver chapter of NXIVM, along with her Smallville co-star Kristen Kruk. Mack was reportedly a founder of DOS, a Rainier-affiliated master, slave group. Mack was arrested on April 20, 2018, on charges of sex trafficking, sex trafficking conspiracy, and forced labor conspiracy. Mack pleaded guilty to racketeering charges in April 2019, and was to be sentenced in September 2019. However, on July 15, 2019, the senior U.S. District Judge Nicholas Garofis postponed the sentencing until further notice to allow federal probation officials to conduct presentencing investigations. On June 30, 2021, Mack was sentenced to three years in prison. Brandon Porter, MD, a medical doctor, conducted unlicensed human subjects research on 200 people for NXIVM. During a fright study, Porter exposed subjects to disturbing videos, including actual footage of a decapitation. In 2016, Porter was present at a NXIVM retreat, V Week, where 300 to 400 individuals were struck by an unidentified disease. Porter failed to report the outbreak, in violation of his duties as a licensed medical doctor. Porter was stripped of his medical license in 2020. Keith Rainier, born August 26, 1960, is the founder of NXIVM. In March 2018, Rainier was arrested and indicted on a variety of charges related to DOS, a secret sisterhood within NXIVM, including sex trafficking, sex trafficking conspiracy, and conspiracy to commit forced labor. He was found guilty of all charges at trial. On October 27, 2020, Rainier was sentenced to 120 years in prison. Danielle Roberts, D.O., osteopathic physician, 
gained notoriety for having used a cauterizing pen to brand 13 women in connection with the group known as DOS. In 2020, New York Board of Medical Conduct began an investigation into Roberts. A year later it brought charges against her which could result in the revocation of her license. After Rainier's conviction, Roberts was among the dancers outside the jail in which he was incarcerated. Emily Anno Salinas is a venture capitalist and businessman. He is the son of former Mexican President Carlos Salinas de Gortari. Salinas served as vice president of Precis Capital, a financial consortium with ties to Rainier and NXIVM. Nancy Saltzman, a psychiatric nurse and trained practitioner of hypnotism and neurolinguistic programming, met Rainier in 1998. The two founded Executive Success Programs, a personal development company offering a range of techniques aimed at self-improvement. In March 2019, Saltzman pleaded guilty to racketeering. Karen A. Unterina is a member who became Rainier's live-in partner beginning in the 1980s and an early employee of his company Consumers Byline. Critical former members Barbara Bauchi was a client of Nancy Saltzman having been referred to her in 1988. Beginning in 2000, Bauchi dated Rainier. In 2009, Bauchi and eight other women, the NXIVM9, confronted Rainier with concerns about abuse within the organization. That year, Bauchi left the group and later went to law enforcement. Sarah Edmondson is a Canadian actress. After leaving NXIVM in early 2017, she publicly denounced the organization, claiming that she was invited into DOS, a substructure within NXIVM operated by Keith Rainier and Alison Mack and was branded with a combination of Rainier's and Max initials at Max Albany Home. Edmondson showed the brand in a New York Times expose tilde copyright of NXIVM. Kristen Keefe became Rainier's partner in the early 1990s. In 2013, Keefe gave birth to Rainier's son Gay Allen. In February 2014, Keefe broke with Rainier and his group, fleeing the region with her son. An email bearing Keith's name explained, I have full sole legal custody of Gaelin. Keith was experimenting on him. I had to get Gaelin away. Keith publicly described Rainier as dangerous. In 2015, Keith alleged that NXIVM leaders had planned to lure critics to Mexico with an invitation to an anti cult conference. Once in Mexico, the critics were to be arrested on false charges by order of a judge who had been bribed. Tony Natalie met Rainier in 1991 when he was pitching his business Consumers Byline. Natalie and her then husband became top sellers for the organization. Natalie recalled that she was able to stop smoking after a two hour session with Rainier. Natalie and her son later moved to be near Rainier. Her marriage ended shortly thereafter. Natalie and Rainier dated for the next eight years. In the mid 90s, Rainier and Natalie operated a health products store. In 19 1999. Rainier's eight-year relationship with Natalie ended. Natalie would subsequently claim to have been the victim of harassment. In a January 2003 ruling, federal judge Robert Littlefield implied Rainier was using a legal suit to harass Natalie, wrote Littlefield. This matter smacks of a jilted fellow's attempt at revenge or retaliation against his former girlfriend, with many attempts at tripping her up along the way. In 2011, Natalie filed documents in federal court alleging that she had been repeatedly raped by Rainier. Joseph J. O'Hara was an attorney who departed NXIVM in 2005 after accusing the group of misdeeds. In 2007, O'Hara was indicted by Albany County. It was later revealed that the district attorney had allowed Rainier's girlfriend Kristen Keefe to operate within its office as a sort of victim's advocate. Charges were ultimately dismissed. India Oxenberg, daughter of actress Catherine Oxenberg, was introduced to the group in 2011. At Rainier's trial, a witness testified that India had spent a year on a 500 calorie per day diet. In May 2017, India admitted to her mother that she was among those who had been branded. India left the group in June 2018. After Rainier's arrest, in August 2018, Catherine Noxenberg's book Captive, A Mother's Crusade to Save Her Daughter from a Terrifying Cult was published. Mark Vicente, 
a filmmaker known for the 2004 film What the Bleep Do We Know? Comma began involvement with the group in 2005. Vicente testified against Trainier at his 2019 trial. Journalists and bloggers, James Odato is an investigative reporter who wrote for the Albany Times Union. In 2012, Odato reported Rainier's history of pedophilia. In October 2013, Odato was named in a lawsuit filed by NXIVM along with Susanna Andrews of Vanity Fair and blogger John J. Ty all had written critically of the group. The suit alleged that NXIVM computers had been illegally accessed. Shortly thereafter, Odato was described as being on leave from the Times Union. Frank Parlato was hired by NXIVM in 2007 to help with publicity. After concluding that NXIVM members were being defrauded by Rainier, Parlato began blogging about the group on his site's art voice, the Niagara Falls Reporter, and the Frank Report. Rick Allen Ross is the executive director of the Ross Institute, which specializes in studying cults. Ross received a copy of NXIVM training manual and published portions of it on his website in NXIVM Corp. V. Ross Institute, NXIVM sued to try to block further publications. Courts ruled in favor of Ross. John Ty wrote about NXIVM on a blog. In 2013, NXIVM accused Ty of illegally accessing NXIVM servers using a former member's login information. Ty's home was raided by the New York State Police, and his computer was seized.